Hey YouTube, in this video I wanted to share my top five tips uh, for first year law students. Um, after surviving the first year, I figured I would share some good advice that I received and some information that I kind of acquired through the process. So some of this stuff is pretty straightforward, so we'll get started. All right, first piece of advice is to read each case three times. This was advice given to me by, by my tort professor, um, a really smart guy, been doing it for a while, and it kind of makes sense. Just reading the case once is not gonna be enough. You have to read it uh, at the very least twice to kind of get an understanding as to what's going on with the case and what the rule of law is and uh, you know why the professor gave you that, that case to, to read. And kind of my process was that I would try to find a brief online so I can just get familiar with it, that I go to the textbook, read it once, and then try to find something either on YouTube or on audio that would kind of give me the highlighted version or the, again, the, the auditory version of what was happening with the case. And then I would go back to it and read it a second time. But I just noticed that the, the more times I read the case and the slower I read it, the more I actually retain and the more I get out of. So there's a really steep correlation, I would imagine, between the number of times you read it and how well you understand the case and that particular rule. The second piece of advice that I got um, was from my writing professor, and it was to brief every single case. He was actually a part-time professor at the time, uh, but a few years back, he was a student at the law school and he actually ended up, ended up finishing first in his class. Um, so obviously you're gonna object and say, you know, that's not really plausible or, or possible, but yeah, it can be done and he'll be the first to acknowledge that uh, his family relationship and his sleep, you know, took a toll and was a huge uh, factor in it, but, you know, he wanted to do really well and, and that was, what he did. He even said that, uh, you know, the last week up until graduation, he was still briefing every single case. So it's something that, that stuck with him and obviously paid the dividends in the long run. The third tip would be to identify and extract the rule of law from each case that you read. And actually, I wish I learned this or was told this um, earlier on, but something that I didn't and, discover until maybe you know, three quarters of the way through my first semester from another writing professor. And why it's important is because you, you have to be able to identify the, the rule and then see where it fits in your outline and try to figure out whether it's an overarching rule or if it's a mini rule or if it's an element supporting a bigger, a bigger rule that you're trying to understand. So again, one of the first things you want to do when you're briefing or reading a, a case is try to identify what that rule is. And sometimes if you go on LexisNexis and try to extract the rule law or use what they're giving you, that may not exactly fit the reading for that class that you're, that you're applying. For example, uh, maybe that case touches on many different issues and the rule of law that, that you're being given by a LexisNexis, LexisNexis or uh, some other source like that may not apply or might not be germane to the tort class that you're in that you're being asked to read that case or it may not have, may not be germane to the civil procedure case so you need to look at it from a civil procedure lens or a tort lens or a business law lens so again it's really uh, have to kind of focus on what is the case about whose class you're in and try to identify that and and maybe use this outside or external sources, online sources as, as a supplement, but not as your, your go-to reference. All right, fourth piece of advice that I was given, this is again from my tort professor. Again, this guy's been doing it for, for a long time, went to Harvard, the whole nine. And he gave the advice that to, advice that to use your table of context from contents from your textbook as your outline. And for me, this, just made sense and it was actually a lot easier and it was to follow and a lot easier to group ideas and concepts 
when it came to study for the midterm or the final. So use a table of contents, start broad as as big as you can, as, as high as you can, and then try to narrow down the the sub topics or the sub elements of trying to get to that granular detail that uh, you might need in order to to pass the final. The last piece of advice is something that I kind of, you know, learned on my own was that uh, you have to make time for sleep, mental health, and family. And, and for me, sleep and uh, sleep and eating habits or specifically my water intake took a toll. I was maybe only getting five and a half hours of sleep Monday through Friday. And then I would try to catch up on sleep on the weekend. But because I had a long commute to and from work and then to school, um, I was drinking too much coffee, drink, not drinking enough water, not sleeping enough, being stressed because of work, family, and school that it all took a toll. Um, and eventually my body, you know, started to, to shut down. So, um, but, so yeah, you have to make time for sleep. You need to get at least seven hours of sleep. You need to drink enough water. You need to eat the right foods and you need to allocate time for your, for your family. Um, this is not a solo venture. It's a partnership and you're going to need your friends and family there to support you when you're, you know, when, when you're having a rough time, especially I'm very thankful for my fiance who, um, you know, was able to meal prep and, and you know, kind of be there, my, my support, um, or else, you know, I would have been a much harder and road to, to passing my first year. So um, kudos to her. Uh, and yeah, that's it. If you have any other suggestions or comments, that or best tips that work for you, please share in the comment section and give a like if you found this beneficial. Thank you.